October 1, 2009, the Ratcliffe Community Center was dedicated to Donald B. Ratcliffe and his family. Ratcliffe is one of the few places on the Stevenson University Owings Mills campus that is open 24 hours a day. Students come here to watch movies, play pool, but most importantly, play ping pong. One of the biggest days of the Ratcliffe year is the annual ping pong tournament. Students train for this months in advance, some playing every day leading up to the tournament. Some will go as far to say that ping pong is the only thing to do on campus. I think that it was the worst decision ever to put those ridiculous ping pong ball tables out here because I work at the desk here and generally from 9 to 12 no one's in here and then 12 to 5 people are playing ping pong and they're loud and they slap their paddles against the table like that and the ping pong ball sound is not soothing. Why do you play ping pong? I have played before, after all of you leave, <laughs> and I don't like it, <laughs> but not because I'm bitter about, that's not why I don't like it when you play it in here. I'm not bitter about it because I'm not good at it. I just have terrible hand-eye coordination. One of my first friends here plays ping pong too, so we played almost every day uh, when we first got here. So it was a lot of fun. It was like a, a bonding experience. I like playing ping pong because it's a lot of fun. It's kind of challenging, and I don't know, it's just like a great way to stay in shape. Well. It's one of the funnest sports ever. I mean, I used to play badminton all the time. And then, well, ping pong's a lot about wrist control and the, controlling the ball, you know, where it goes just like badminton. So, I mean, I got into it really, really quickly. It's, and I love uh, wrist sports, racket sports, because um, it doesn't have to do all with physical power. It's all about control and just, you know, just getting the ball where, where exactly where you need to be on the court. Why did you enter the ping pong tournament? Oh, I didn't really know you had one. I thought you guys just played ping pong a lot. I like, I like competing in a lot of sports, so I thought um, I'm good at ping pong, so I might as well try and compete and see how I stand with the rest of the people at Stevenson. I decided to enter the uh, ping pong tournament because my a kid on my floor was like, "Hey Tyler, you want to go to the ping pong tournament?" And I was like, eh, "Might as well show up, see how or see how it is and everything." Now I show up, and they're like, "Hey, you want to play?" And I'm like, "Might as well." Could be fun. All my friends who I played with uh, before, we all played ping pong before, and as soon as we heard that there was a ping pong tournament going on, we were like, oh man, you gotta be in this tournament. And plus, I was like one of the best in, out of my friends, so I was like, ah, I, why not uh, try to see who else is a bit good, see who else is out there. Got off work that day, rest of the day to do nothing. Why not? What place did you get in the tournament? I came in third place. I came in dead last. I didn't win a single game, but I kind of got tired of playing after I lost to my friend in the first round, So, because it was double elimination. So I was like, I don't really feel like playing, so I'm going to throw the second game. I made it to the second round. Um, I lost to the runner-up of the tournament. I came the second. Yeah. After a tough battle, Andre here. It was a good game, but I uh, came in second. And I should have should have came in first, but it's tragic. How do you feel about ping pong now that the tournament is over? I thought I didn't do as well as I as I wanted to, so I I played a lot afterwards and I got a lot better. So I guess kind of taught me how to play better. Coming in dead last was pretty depressing, so I kind of stopped playing because I was just like, man, I really stink compared to some people. I don't play it as much. I mean, I still love the sport, but I mean, after getting my after getting destroyed like that, kind of, I mean, it was a close game, 19 to 21, but I mean, after losing, after being that close, I don't play it as much. I'm not as serious, but I mean, it's a really fun sport. Did you enjoy the experience? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I usually don't play seriously, so playing seriously in competition was a really different experience, and I played against people who were really good. It was a lot of fun. It's good to just play different people, play people who can either beat you or, you know, you can beat them. It's just a great experience. I did. It was a lot of fun. So next time you're saying to yourself, there's nothing to do on campus, head on over to the Ratcliffe Community Center to play some ping pong, and maybe you could be next year's ping pong tournament champion. There is a tall guy named Chris. He has curly hair, wears glasses, and he is very, very loud and very plain when he is not happy about ping pong.